Race fans, this is your main event of the evening. The Sunoco American Late Bottle Series here at I-96 Speedway. What we want you to do is we want you to get up. We want you to stand up. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Wave lap time, 20 cars, four different states, going 35 laps here at I-96 Speedway. This is the Sunoco American Late Bottle Series. Sheffield, Illinois, Rich Bell on insider row number one. Alongside him, Wayne Ohio, Jeff Babcock in the one machine. They will lead this stout 20 car field out of turns three and four. She started, Brett Farmer's got the green flag in hand, and we are racing. Jeff Babcock around the outside, the number one machine trying to take that lead. Here's Rich Bell on the 21. Jeep Van Water already up the third and the 55, but your leader of lap one is going to be. Babcock, your leader in the water. Rich Bell, Jeep Van Water gets it right around the back. You only lose a couple positions, one for sure. Chris Keller now gets a right rear off the back, coming out of turn number two. That allows Van Warner to close the gap at number 55. Tina Brandon thoroughly trying to get by the 94 of Billy Gray. Five laps completed, 35 laps to go that time by. The best performance motorsports rocket chassis, number one from Wayne, Ohio, Jeff Babcock continues the lead. Chief Van Warmer got by Rich Bell, he'll take over the second spot. Warmers now got his set, sight set on the number one, Jeff Babcock. Still a lot of time left. Seven laps completed, 28 to go. Jeff Babcock continues to show the way. In the one machine, he is hard to approach. The back of the lead to lap cars, beginning with the 22 of Kevin Chusima. Van Warner in second spot, trying to reel in and race leader Jeff Babcock, who approaches Juicelin about to put him one lap down. Rich Bell running in the third spot, Chris Keller is fourth, Ryan Van Der Veen is fifth, the battle is for six. The 91, a rusty Schlank, the M14, and Brandon Thurlby, your top two cars from opening night last month here at I 96 Speedway. Back in the field, Brian Ruhlman to the inside of Billy Gray. That is 48 spot. Donum Martulia charged into the field. He's he is up a 10. As he battles the 87 of Rich Neeser. Up front, Jeff Babcock continues to lead the number one. Chief Van Warmer closing the gap in a hurry. And the number 55. Heavy, heavy traffic now in front of your leaders. And Van Warmer has cut the gap to turn 22. Babcock with the right rear off the back. 
back and allows Van Warmer to close the gap with a 55. This time by 13 and Van Warmer to the inside. Nothing to it. Babcock shuts the door going into turns one and two. Heavy, heavy traffic in front of your top two cars. Jeff Babcock in the one, Chief Van Warmer in the 55. Van Warmer takes a peek, thinks better of it. Babcock remains in the lead, the number one machine. Heavy, heavy traffic in front of your leaders, beginning with the one of Casey Noonan, the 15 of Bill Osra. Van Warmer right next to Babcock. They come out to number four. Babcock hanging on, 20 laps to go. Van Warmer now with the slight advantage. Babcock trying to build the momentum on the high side. They are side by side at turns three and four. Van Warmer dives to the bottom, Babcock up high, Babcock again leads that lap. Babcock and Van Warmer working their way through traffic, battling for that lead. This time by 17 laps completed, 18 to go. Jeff Babcock continues to show the way, the number one. Chief Van Warmer all over him in the second spot of 55. Yellow flag, caution flag on the speedway. Yellow flag has come out just shy of halfway. 17 laps completed, 18 laps to go. Currently running fourth, the Jason Deese trailer sales and service rocket chassis number double zero from Adrian, Michigan, Chris Keller, Ryan Vanderveen rounding out the top five. Jeff Babcock leads him on a turn. Four green flags in the air. We're back underway. And Chief Van Warmer wasting no time trying to get back at Jeff Babcock. But Babcock with a great run off a of turn number two. Rusty Schlenk to the inside of Ryan Vanderveen. That is four fifth. We are halfway home. 18 laps to win. 17 laps to go. Big trouble right here on the front stretch. Phil Osra, Curtis Roberts, and Casey Noonan all getting together. Caution flag will fly. White flag being shown to the field. Gonna go green next time by. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, hot food in the concession stand. Buy one, get one free until it's gone. Buy one, get one free hot food in the concession stand until it's gone. So make your way down there. Let's say after this feature event, you know, sit here and watch how these last 16 laps or so are going to play out. So if you buy one, you get one just like it for free. Yes. Until they run out. Yes. All right. Just making sure. I guess in the, t in the, in the popular phrase, it's BOGO. Gotcha. <laughs> Speaking of BOGO, green flag. We're back underway. Rich Bell showing some life on the outside of Chief Van Warmer, but Van Warmer with a strong run coming out of turn number two. Rusty Schlage now trying to work by Chris Keller getting inside for third, but now we're halfway. 18 laps completed, 17 laps to go. Here comes flying Brian Ruhlman in the number 49. He's up to fourth. He got by Schlage and Bell. Schlage gets back by for the fifth spot. One up front, Jeff Babcock continues to lead, the number one machine. Van Warmer starting to build the momentum on the high side, the 55. Pulls right up on the bumper of Babcock. They shows him a little warning, and they goes around and turn number four. Caution, Flag will fly. Contact between the one of Babcock, the 55 of Van Warmer brings out the caution flag. Well, both cars are gonna remain one and two, and we'll try it again. Green flag, here we go. Van Warmer wasting no time going to the high side. Now he's side by side with Babcock. 
Van Warmer around the outside. Takes the lead on lap number 20. Trouble in turns, one and two. Ryan Vanderveen goes around. Caution flag will fly. Brandon Thurlby also is facing the wrong way over in turn number two. Babcock to lead him on a three and four. Chief starter Rusty Seavers got the green flag and we're back underway. Rusty Schling starting to feel racy in the 91 machine who go to the outside of Van Warmer. Give second spot to Rusty Schling, but here comes Van Warmer back on the inside and here comes Brian Roland. Schlink now in second. He'll try to chase down the one of Jeff Babcock, but here comes Van Warmer. Van Warmer back to the inside of Schlink. That is for the second spot. Rowan is fourth. Rich Neeser now to fifth. Here comes Dona Marculier on the outside the 6M machine. Marculier makes it three wide. Gives six spot to number six to Dona Marculier. But up front, Jeff Babcock, your leader, Van Warmer, got back by Rusty Schlenk for second. 11 to go. Cooley in the 6M machine has found himself a new groove around this outside. He'll look to the outside of Neeser, but Neeser shuts the door. This time by 10 laps to go. 10 laps to go for Jeff Babcock in the number one. Mark Cooley around the outside of Rich Neither for the fifth spot. Dona Mark Cooley has found a lane around I-96 Speedway. Looks to the outside, Roman slams the door. Coming out of turn number two. Mark Cooley around the outside of Roman, give him four. Marcoulier may need a caution flag to try to catch up to the leaders. Jeep Van Warmer has recovered. He's coming back on Jeff Babcock. Marcoulier on the outside again on Brian Ruman. Oh, Ruman and Marcoulier get together. Ruman goes off the back. He'll keep going, lose a couple positions. Warmer got a right rear off the back. He lost some real estate. Five laps to go. Five laps to go for Jeff Babcock in the one. Jeep Van Warmer is recovered once again. He's got the fishing pull out one last time, trying to reel in Jeff Babcock for that lead. But does he have the right bait with four laps to go? Trouble in turn number four. Aaron Moore, he goes around. Nobody wanted to see that caution flag worse than the number six, Adona Marcoulier, who is up the four. Four laps to go, and we are green. Rusty Schlenk and Jeep Van Warmer trying to catch up to Jeff Babcock for that lead. Dona Marcoulier lost all kinds of real estate. He's got three laps to make it up. 
Here goes Schling to the outside. Schling to the high side gets by Van Warmer trying to keep the momentum up. Jeff Babcock trying to hold on for two more laps. Here comes Schling. Schling to the high side of Babcock for the lead. Side by side for the lead. White flag comes out. One lap to go. Schling on the high side. Babcock on the inside. Your leader, Schling. One more lap. Schlenk leads him into three. He'll come on turn number four. Back on the inside. Checkered flag. Your winner, Rusty Schlenk. <laughs> Jeff Babcock comes home in second. Dona Marcullia third. And Van Warmer third. How about a nice round of applause for the Sunoco American Lee Model Series. A valiant effort for your second place competitor, the one of Jeff Babcock. Third place goes to 55 of Chief Van Warmer. A fourth, a valiant run for the six of Dona Marcullier. There's some of you folks hitting the exits. Really on the top five, a good run for Rich Neeser. But your winner. He is a two-time Sunoco American Late Model Series champion. He's out of the car, Rusty Schlag.